in California's Long Valley. The secrets of an ancient supervolcano reveal themselves each and every day. So what we're looking at here is Hot Creek, the geological site. And Hot Creek is a result of water from the Sierra Nevada is coming down along the creek and it's rising volcanic gases coming out of the cracks and fractures in these rocks right here. You can smell that pungent rotten egg smell and that comes from a lot of the hydrogen sulfide and SO2 that's in the uh, volcanic gases as they percolate up through the ground into the atmosphere as you can see here. The gases are released in a magma chamber three miles beneath Hot Creek. Scientists believe their journey to the surface takes around 1,000 years. A slow journey, but a potentially deadly one. I'm measuring the temperature of some of these hot springs at Hot Creek. The shoreline's always changing, the stream bed's always changing in terms of temperature and flow rate and the composition of the gas is coming out. So most of the readings in the stream bed range from about 75 to maybe 90 degrees Fahrenheit. But in these uh, smaller pools off to the side where a lot of this new hot water is coming in, temperatures right here are 186, and they're as high as 200 degrees in the pool opposite the creek. Places on Hot Creek where we have water of this temperature, which is near boiling, it's only about 20 to 30 degrees below the boiling point. Occasionally there are these unpredictable events of a geyser actually erupting in the creek releasing a great deal of gas, and they are at the boiling point. And people have been killed in those events as well. Since the 1960s, 14 people soaking in the pools have been scalded to death by sudden geysers. A brutal reminder that a long dormant volcano still has the power to take lives on planet Earth.